He took over as player slash manager for the Reds in 1984, something that we probably haven't seen since, right? If I can recall, there hasn't been a player manager. We'll never see that again. No, we'll never see that again. No, no way. So on February 21st, 1989, old Pete was called in to meet with Commissioner Ben Uberoff about his gambling habits. It is well known that Pete Rose enjoyed gambling, but the talk of the town was that he was betting on baseball, specifically his own games. So now on April 1st, 1989, the IRS seized betting slips with Rose's name, writing, and fingerprints on them. That's a deep, deep investigation. The following day, it was reported that he was betting $8,000 to $10,000 per day on baseball. A month later, Rose would be in the hottest water of his life because now the league announced that it was launching a full investigation. So, on May 9th, 1989, a 225-page report by investigator Rob Dow known as the, quote, Dow Report, because MLB has great names for all their reports. He handed it over to the new commissioner, Bart Giamardi, who you might know his son, who played uh, Einstein in all those Verizon commercials. Right? Come on, Sarah. (laughs) Sarah's favorite Paul Giamatti movie is Sideways. I just found out. He's so good in that movie. And he's great on John Adams. Uh, I don't know. He was good in The Hangover, too. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> so this report no, included no, a full... No billions love? What's that? No billions love? Man, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> billions, yeah, that's a good show. That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, the Einstein commercials of Verizon, because they play him six million times a day. You know, that's, that's all I remember the, him from. Now, the so. worst. Yeah, I know. All right, so this... Uh, This report included a full breakdown of all his gambling activities, including 52 Reds games. From there, the league officials handed Pete Rose a lifetime ban on August 24th, 1989. Both Rose and Giamatti signed a five-page document to put the ban in place. So, the theory here is that Pete Rose's lifetime ban was mostly just for show with Rose and Giamatti reaching an agreement that, after a reasonable period of time, the ban would be lifted and all would be good in Rose's world. The only problem was, Bart Giamatti died eight days after the ban was given to Pete, leaving Rose to live the rest of his life in baseball purgatory. So, the truth probability on this one could be something to argue about, But if Rose's ban was going to be lifted by now, he has already buried himself in the countless acts of stupidity on his own character. And he still gambles like a monster. MLB loves tradition, but it's likely Rose will never see the ban be lifted in his lifetime. So let's start with Garth. Garth, do you believe that this is possible? Do you think that there is a possibility that it was all for show. Uh, no, because it was it was a completely different time. Like now, you get caught gambling, you probably suspended for a, a year. You know, we've seen it in the NFL. Uh, you know, a player bet and got suspended for a year because gambling is such a a big part of sports now. But back in the late eighties, like this was all like under the table, like run by criminals. Like, you know, you had to go see, you know, Johnny down at the warehouse to place your bet. You know, it wasn't, you know, you, you, you didn't walk, you know, grab your phone and like lay 10 grand down, you know, they did just sit. And the thing is like in baseball, you can be a piece of shit. You can hit your wife. You can run over a kid. You can do whatever you want in baseball except gamble you know when you start attacking the integrity of the game 
<laughs> that's an issue. That's a great you know, point. Unless that, you're the league doing it. No. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're yeah, the right. league doing it. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But, Different I story. Mean, like, you, 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 know, you look at the only people that have been banned forever, it's because of gambling on games or, you know, the, you know, the, it, it looks like they might have thrown a game or, you know, it's possible. Like, you know, the, the Black Sox scandal and Pete Rose, like, it just, it, it chips away at that integrity of the game and i i I don't know if i thought like after a few years he might get in because there you know there was a big up roar you know like uh like he served enough time but he just can't get out of his own way so right fuck him we don't care if he ever gets in right paul doesn't need pete rose pete rose really is a guy that like he benefited from the internet being invented so late in his yeah, life absolutely. because truly that man like it's so funny even just the fact that baseball was like okay we e- even the idea that maybe and i buy it maybe they were there was a back room deal where they're like you know what we just got to let this blow over but i mean if pete rose was a player during internet times this would have been like strike 10 you know, like there, there would have been zero way. So, right. um, right. just, uh, whether that was a true piece of conspiracy or not, I think that, uh, just his shittiness caught up with him anyways. And I don't think there's a lot of leeway anymore. Like he's done. Like there's, <laughs> they're not going to let Barry Bonds in the hall of fame. Why the hell would they let, you know, <laughs> they still right. don't have, you know, still not letting shoeless Joe Jackson in the hall and he's yeah. dead. So his lifetime right. and he's man dead. is <laughs> done. Like he's, he's dead. fucking batted 360 in the world series. Like right. he didn't throw any games. Yeah. Like, what was, like, like the guy he knew about it. And, he knew. Yeah. That's why yeah. he was. I mean, that, that's a, that brings, Sarah, you bring up a great point. Like how long is a lifetime been? He's dead. His lifetime is over. Like maybe you should bring him in. Oh, I don't, man. I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I think it's just too many traditional old guys, but it's, I, it's I, such I a shame too. Like, I mean, we're talking about one of the best, you know, arguably the best hitter of all time. You know, he's in the conversation and, as a manager, though, I mean, you're you're completely dictating the result of games if you're betting on them. Like you're right. You know, we're not going to we're going to use this bullpen guy tonight because I got money on this game tonight. Maybe I don't have it tomorrow. Like that kind of skews all the, the results of especially as a manager, because he he can like pull whatever type of cards he wants to win that specific game or at least, quote unquote, give his team the best chance. But then you're jeopardizing, you know, player injuries like there's there's so much to that, you know. It's Absolutely. A, it's a trickle down effect. That's a great point. 